Hey everyone, Wayne here. I have an unboxing here today, a recon of a game that's hot off the presses, just arrived from Kickstarter, Atlantic Wolves, a solitaire game based on the World War II naval campaign. This is published by Canvas Temple Publishing, designed by Gary Graber, produced by John Compton. Um, this is one that I've been waiting for for a while. So this is one that is, you are kind of running the German effort. You're not commanding a, one single U-boat. Instead, you're kind of commanding multiples, kind of commanding the entire um, Atlantic campaign. And allegedly, I've never played, I think it's based on some a game called Battle of the Atlantic, I believe. Um, but it's apparently pretty simple, yet it has a lot of good gameplay, a lot of replayability. So I'm excited for this one. Let's go ahead and check it out here. Um, you can hear it here that the uh, counters have apparently come off the sprues for most people who have unboxed their games, which... You listen to it it sure sounds like that which that's okay to me as long as there's nothing's damaged i just want to play it so i'd be taking them off the sprues anyway um decently have heavy box here um atlantic wolves some have called it the most crucial campaign of the second world war it was not fought on the ground with tanks and artillery it was a battle of the atlantic pitting the german wolf packs versus the allied convoy system atlantic wolves is a solitaire based game uh, a solitaire game based on this important world war ii naval campaign it covers a decisive part of the campaign, August 1942 to May 1943. The player assumes the role of Admiral Karl Donitz, controls the German Kriegsmarine, and tries to achieve success against the Allies, played by the game system. Oh, yep, here it is. The game is a del deluxe reimplementation of Gary Graber's classic game, Battle of the Atlantic, now out of print. All right, big game. Big, uh, not big, big game, but uh, big counters. Nice map. Let's go ahead and at least that's what they're supposed to do. Um, that's been my experience with Canvas Temple Publishing. So let's go ahead and uh, crack this one open and see if that's still the case. I have all the faith in the world. All right. Get that plastic off here. Any solitary game, World War II, uh, U-boats, it's always a winner. Uh, so, so hopefully this one is also well the cover very nice and yep you can already see uh those counters are just screaming to be played the game is screaming to be played so um here we have there they are so let's look at the rule book first um as usual from cam assemble publishing it's going to be nice rule book full color um slight gloss to the page big font easy to read i mean it's going to have some pictures in it. There's a sample turn at the end. What are we looking at? A total of what, eight pages, something like that. Yeah, eight pages, including designer notes, credits, everything like that. So it is not a complex game at all. Um, six pages of actual till it starts getting to the actually the miscellaneous rules and stuff. So, yeah, it is not going to be a complex game at all. As usual, we're not going to go through every single look. We're not going to we're not I'm not reading the rule books, you guys. We're just kind of looking through quick. Definitely looks good. Things highlighted. So, oh, and there's a little example. Example. So, examples with everything. I'm sure this will work just fine. I did read, um, oh, and then the tally sheet here. Permission to photocopy. Thank you for the permission. Um, it is a game that uh, has a rule book, I believe, has a rule book online from the Kickstarter page. I don't know if it's the final one or not. So, I did read through it, but I didn't, you know, memorize it because, well, I want to make sure that I get the official rule. So, all right. Here are some cards. I believe this drives the drives the game so you know it's like a card well i guess card driven game right but not it's not a play card it's a i think it's more of a like each turn you flip a card and then conduct whatever actions based on you know what it says for everything so um let's actually go ahead let's open them since it's got the easy tab boom beautiful oh i love that so much more than you have to like these got uh Campus Temple Publishing does this. I think DVG does as well, where they have that tab. We just open it up. That's I love that so much more than the the mess with them. Mess with like the plastic. Try to cut it. All right, cards feel good. Nice glossy finish. Not linen finish, but they're definitely nice. Reasonably thick. They're gonna shuffle and move real well. And then I believe they're all gonna be fairly similar though. So they're all, for instance, just says Atlantic Wolves on the back of all of them. No, there's not it's not different decks it's one deck you know one, oh, i can see the card numbers up top so you know atlantic convoy convoy let's see 
to roll any evil attack or any anti-submarine warfare roll, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I know there's gonna, you're going to see you know Ultra Plus, ESW Plus. You're going to see things. Of, these obviously I don't have the game memorized. So I don't know exactly what all these mean. The different silhouettes of U-boats, what exactly that means, but clearly it's uh, turn to turn, driven by the cards. You can draw from cards. So, all right, got a bunch of bags. Perfect. Always can use more baggies. What do we got here a couple uh, little nice little clear dice here. Couple B6s, which I believe the game, I believe if I remember correctly, uh, John Compton mentioned that the game actually runs on um, with a D10. So let's see what we can see right here. German attack table, it's 1 to 10. So, oh, ASW table, 1 to 10. So they accidentally put D6s, but I bought 10 million extra D10s, so I'm not going to sweat it. Let's kind of try to save the counters for last. Um, all right, so we have, oh, super thick, super thick, like, hardboard here. So, all right, so we have that tally sheet, remember we saw at the back of the rule book. You know, keeping track month, each month, August 42 to May 43. Tundra sunk, ship sunk, you boats operational, you boats sunk. Um, to keep track of everything, I like that. There's nothing on the backside. So obviously, I'll make some copies of this. I don't think you could draw on this one. No, I don't think so. So, um, you know, like a, draw on a race. Nah, I think you want to make copies. No big deal. That's what I'll do. All right. And then we have a, a player aid card here. A German attack table. Again, yep. So 1D10. ASW, anti-submarine warfare table, I assume. Hit table. Rolls. All right. Okay. And then ace creation table. Bonus convoy table. Interesting. Okay. So a little player aid chart. Very like very thick cardstock. Very nice. All right. What do we got back here? So looks like we're gonna get the map, which is gonna be a full mounted map. Um, well, let me do this last. If you can see my usual. So there would be um, the uh, <laughs> sprue um, <laughs> where the counters originally were. So you can see Axis here, red, um, and then Allies, more of this, uh, I don't know what we call this, tan, gold, khaki, whatever you want to call it. Interesting, double-sided, yep, yeah, okay. Joke's over. And now here we have the different counters, which, although not as easy to show off to you guys when it's, um, they're all wild and, you know, loose in the box, I do think, and as I'd already, you know, kind of seen them online, I'm sure if anyone's, if you've looked at the game already, you, you've seen Look very nice, nice silhouettes on there, very large and readable, so they are definitely a full, you know, one inch size here. I think my light's a little bit glare, sorry about that guys, I'm trying to adjust it a little bit. Move around my lights, I was doing some filming earlier, so hopefully you guys can see that without too much glare. Um, no, there is a lot of glare, my apologies, sorry everybody, a little better there. I mean, everything looks good, um, looks like they're all going to be one-sided basically, you're going to get U-boats, you're going to get which I believe each one of these represents a flotilla, right? Not an actual U-boat itself, but more of a flotilla. Patrol, scatter, you can see the uh, Commonwealth flag there. So, um, very cool. The counters look great. Obviously, super thick. You know, it already punched. <laughs> I'm not going to, because they don't, looks like they would have had maybe something right here. Not in the corners, but that's like, it's basically nothing. I'm just going to be able to play with these. There's not going to be any clipping required. I don't know if I'd want to any of these beasts of counters. So this game is going to be ready to rock as is. Um, take a quick look at the map here. So it is, as you can see, fully mounted. And it is the good, it is the, I mean, they're all pretty good. Once you have it mounted, you're pretty good. But this is the, as you can tell, you know, the black where it's wrapped. Very thick, you know, banded edge, wrapped edge, whatever you want to call it. Let's get it right side up and boom perfect and it's already i mean wow it's actually laying like a hundred percent flat already so i'm not used to that i'm used to maps even even mounted maps we kind of have to mess them a little bit but uh here it is so not it's more of you know an abstract map i actually see pretty much all the right on cameras is perfect shot who knew um you can see everything as is so it's you know an abstracted map right you're gonna have really you can see you know europe England, East Coast United States, Canada, um, West Coast North Africa here. So you're going to see the different holding boxes, right? 
African coast, eastern seaboard, mid-Atlantic, north Atlantic, big one, etc. Um, and you're going to be putting your counters out. You know, you're going to be being attacked. Air patrols, you can see convoys, escorts, you're attacking the convoys. Where you want to put your U-boat uh, flotillas, etc., etc. So, very simple, I think. I believe it's a simple game, but looks good. I like how the map looks a lot. Graphics, Pulse, Stufault, Stufault. Uh, Paul, good job. I think the game looks really good. Um, I don't know if you just did the counters and the map or just the map or whatever. I don't know for sure. Either way, I think it looks really good. Um, that is Atlantic Wolves. Um, I'm going to dump these out here and I'm going to start playing, I think. So, hopefully you guys like what you see. Let me know what you think about this one um, and the usual spiel. If you're not a subscriber, what's holding you back? Click the subscribe button. It'll help me get games. help me to show them off to you guys um, and encourage me to make more videos just to show off all these cool games to everyone. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Later.